When the HS101 Pro was first featured, you know, with its one mega ohm impedance and its uh, five input ranges and the hardware based AC coupling, the uh, questions were when can we expect an HS102, a two channel Pro version? And sadly, the answer was that an HS102 Pro was not in the card. But here's the good news it's the newly developed HS402, it's got all those bells and whistles. It's based on the STM32411 board, and as you can see, it's going to be a surface mount PCB build. If you go to the HS402 website, and I've provided the link, you'll find a one-stop center for all of the information uh, required for this build. You'll find the specifications for the project. You will find a link to download this bill of materials, a component list. You will find a link to the GitHub repository where the Gerber file can be found. A Gerber file is what you need to send out. You upload it to your PCB manufacturer, JLC, PCB, PCB Way, whichever is your favorite. And that file contains everything that's required to get one of those built. Choose the uh, lowest cost shipping option if you're in no rush, and then the whole thing uh, financially makes a bit of sense. So the HS402 is based on this STM32 board, and I'm gonna go through the flash procedure with you. At the time of ordering, I went through great pains to make sure that it had that V3.0 stenciled on the back. When I got the board, it wasn't as indicated in the picture, and there is no stenciling. It doesn't seem to matter. The board looks and feels of good quality and it flashes just fine. These STM32411 boards enter bootloader mode through a combination of how you depress and hold and release these two buttons, the NSRT and the boot zero. You depress and hold both. Then you release the NSRT followed by releasing the boot zero it will enter bootloader mode that way. There's more than one way to flash these boards, but the method I'm gonna demonstrate is through the UART serial. So you can use this USB to TTL cable. Or as I'm gonna do in this video, the CP2102 module. Whichever cable you choose, the connection is the same. Five volt and ground. RX to A9, TX to A10. Got everything hooked up here, connected to the USB. The STM32411 has been placed in bootloader mode. We're able to initialize a chipset. Library is the blue cube at the top here on the STM32 utils. You find this app in the Google Play Store. I always refresh the library and we will find the project under the Martin Lauren folder and we scroll through that to find the HS402 oscilloscope F411 version 1.1 at the time of this recording flash of firmware Doesn't take very long. When the writing is complete, the very final line will say firmware is running. We're able to disconnect the USB here at this point. The SCM32411 comes with a USB type C port. If like me, you have micro USB devices, you need some adapter. So this small USB-C 
to micro USB does the trick and then you need a micro USB OTG capable cable. Now just for us to test the firmware to make sure that HScope is able to recognize the board, you don't need to have the HS402 license and you also don't need to have the PCB. Just by plugging it in, HScope should recognize it as a HS402 device. Now if you get this far and you take a screenshot of this and you submit it to Martin either at this email address or through our Telegram group, the first people to do so before the end of August will get a free HScope HS402 license. I should mention that this project is still in beta but it's been tested quite a bit and this is the fifth PCB version. And uh, from what uh, I've seen uh, that's been shared on the HScope group, uh, this thing is pretty solid here. So I wouldn't fear it. So it's not like I need another oscilloscope, but these things are fun. And I am going to be building this one. And some parts are in order, so it's going to take a few weeks. Um, it's going to be my first full SMD project. I'll do as much of it as I can on camera. And in the end, I'm going to end up with a pretty neat little oscilloscope because uh, the specs on this are pretty nice like the noise levels are really really low and uh, another feature is that it has 32,000 sample points on a page. Pretty nice. So I'll catch you guys then.